Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing the video I have gotten a request for and something that I just need to film because it's been well needed. So today I'm gonna be filming what's on my iPhone 14. So I got this phone back in January this year as a early 18th birthday present and it is working in perfect harmony I gotta say. No issues at all like it's just totally fine like no complaints about this. So I've had this phone for I'm pretty sure 10 months. It's gonna be a year in two months which I am very excited for that I've had no issues and I haven't complained once about this phone. So I gotta say this one is well deserved and well needed. So yeah today I'm gonna be showing you guys what is on my phone as well as the specs of it and yeah so I hope you enjoyed today's video and now let's get started. So if you are thinking of getting a new phone and you are thinking about the iPhone 14 Here's what you should know about it. So this is the iPhone 14 in purple with 128 gigabytes of storage. And it does come in other colors such as yellow, blue, white, black, pretty sure red. I don't know. I'll leave the pictures here of what colors they come in. And for 10 months, I gotta say, no scratches at all is in perfect condition. And even the screen as well. No scratches at all. I did have to end up changing the screen protector multiple times. Now let me tell you, the screen protector I had on when I first filmed the unboxing of this phone, I had the worst screen protector ever. The only thing I found wrong about it is every time I would put a case on it the screen protector would lift and I'm pretty sure it is probably a bit too big for my phone like I, I did have to end up changing it multiple times because it kept lifting and when I went on Shein because I buy most of my screen protectors from Shein because they're so good so every time so when I went on Shein the last time to buy a screen protector I really wanted a privacy one because I am always like a little bit insecure of what people see on my phone especially when I go out shopping and I do need to transfer money I don't want people seeing my bank details and how much I'm transferring or how much I actually have in my account that is none of everyone's business so I felt like having a privacy screen protector was truly the best like look at it see this is my phone you like that privacy privacy but yeah this one's really good i'll link it down below of the screen protector i've currently the only thing i don't like is it doesn't cover the freaking notch but i'm trying to find perfect one like a perfect one but surprisingly this one is scratch resistant love that so now let's get into what is actually on my iphone oh right, yeah so this is my lock screen currently i have changed my wallpaper to this christmas theme because it is technically the first of november but i've had this for a little bit longer because i do want to get into the christmas spirit so freaking early because I am a Christmas girl and then I'm going to show you guys all my other ones as well and as well the widgets I have got is the date today so 1st November and then how many days till Christmas and currently I'm sitting at 54 as I'm editing this video it's going to get much shorter so if you go like a hard this is like all of my other wallpapers I've got so I've got this summer theme I made myself so check that out on my Pinterest I have my username down in the description box. And then I have this other one that I made myself as well. This strawberry theme. And then I've got this one with me and Tweety Bird from Movie World. I love that. And then we've got this matcha and coffee theme. This other like summer vibes wallpaper from last year. And then we've got this pink theme and then this other one I just took on Instagram. So we're gonna go to and then we're going to swipe up and this is my home screen so i have a few widgets so i have this one with all of my um schedules and important dates and then i go to this one which is my christmas themed calendar and then this is my current front page at the moment so this is where i have all of my important apps and stuff and then down here at the bottom i've got phone safari messages and music so let's get into the important apps i have got so I have my social medias, of course. I use them so dearly much. So I have Instagram, so go follow me. I am nearly at 900 followers. That is my current goal. 
at the moment. 900 followers. Let's see if we can get to that. I'm currently sitting at 890. And then I've got Facebook, which is mainly I use to check out like my friends and family's posts and stuff like that. And then I've got Pinterest. I love using Pinterest so much. I mainly just like look at it, think how cute it is. So yeah, this is my current aesthetic. It's more like summer vibes, stuff like that. This is my Pinterest account. Go follow me. And then this is all of my posts that I have done throughout. And then I've got Snapchat, which is where I text all my friends and do streaks with them. And then we've got TikTok. I haven't, I don't think I've told you guys that I did end up getting my original account back. It took me forever to get my original account back. So this is my original account. It is Duranic at Carabao. This is my current TikTok at the moment. So I keep like all of my most popular ones pinned. So these are like my top three. I have this one when it's called Pov. You bought the 2023 Grinch Funzie. And that's got like 666 likes and 51k views and this one that I posted in May it says Pav you're in the works of making your Christmas wish list 2023 this I did back in May and it's got like 3,115 likes and 103,006k. That, I'm impressed. And then this one where I did a vlog, I was on my break at work and I was like, let me film a vlog and see if I buy anything or not. Because I was at that stage at, in my bank account where I just didn't have enough money and I was starting to become broke, but now I'm not broke. I'm a good saver. And then these are all my other accounts I've got. I've got my Aussie Vlogs TikTok account that I keep rating it on my account. So go follow that too. I post Get Ready With Me's vlogs, hauls. I love filming hauls. And then I have a few other accounts right here. But go mainly follow those too. Like my other accounts are just like spam that I just post like random dumb videos on. Yeah, but I mainly use my main account to post like really good videos and the ones that mean the most and then we've got photos camera app store and then we've got my work folder i keep that at the front because i use that the most as well so i've got day forces which i check like all of the days i'm working scheduled wise if anything changes and news stuff then i use whatsapp that's for work as well this is where we just chat about stuff and then we have thrive which is for my payslips i get every week which i cannot show you because that's fully fully private and then we've got clue everyone knows what clue is and i've talked about clue before on my channel and then we've got gmail settings stock card i love using stock card so this is where i store all of my membership cards if they do come on the phone i can use that i use this all the time so these are all like the ones i've got and then these are the ones i use the most so the ones i use the most are mecca five eyes everyday rewards cotton on perks and i don't really use char time or rebel because there's no char time at the plaza whatsoever and then we've got thread which is basically kind of like the new twitter i do have thread it i kind of start using thread because it kind of i don't know instagram kept telling me to you know get thread and stuff so this is my account it's just linked to my instagram so this is just basically where i post everything youtube updates and stuff like that if i've released a new video it's up on my thread it wait i feel like everyone's using thread it it's the new twitter i love it it's better than twitter and then we've got be real i don't use this a lot I do use it. If you don't know, I'm going to show you guys right now how to use Be Real. So I've posted late. So I go post late, which is this circle thingy. So if I do that, I like doing a zoomed out effect. So I go taking a photo of that and then just do some stupid pose for this part. That is the one. And then I go send and then it just brings up like all my friends and stuff. And then this is all of my other B reels for the year. I'm going to try and post one every day. I'm going to try and post it every single day. But yeah, these are all my others. I have not kept up at all. Like at the start of the year, I was like, I'm going to post a B reel every single day. And then towards like the months, I post minimal but i'm gonna try and post one every day and that is my front screen kind of thing so this is my next page and this is where i have my apps i don't use the most but just want to keep them organized so i have this widget of this cat licking or i don't know it's like kind of licking a candy cane i love candy canes but i don't eat them as often so i have about 
six folders. So I have lifestyle, editing, main, shopping, entertainment, and games. So first let's start off with lifestyle. So I have the first app, my learners. So this is just where I track my learners and stuff like that. And then I've got notes and then I've got measure. I've never used that before, but I still keep it. Calculator. And then we've got slides, docs. I've got notion. So next is editing. So this is where I basically create all of my thumbnails and, and edit some pictures. So first we've got Bonto. This is where I just add text to my thumbnails to make them look cool. And then we've got Imaging Edge. So this is where I connect my Sony camera to this app and I can transfer like say videos or photos. It's really easy. And then I've got YouTube Studios. And I love using this because I can track my analytics. Just basically how many views and likes in real time and as well as comments. And I like how it splits it from YouTube to shorts, lives, and playlists. So yeah, I just love using this to track stuff. Yeah, just basically other stuff I cannot tell you guys. And then we've got Pocket, which is the phone version for Procreate. I've already explained that in my last iPhone XR video, but I basically use this to make really cool doodles to my thumbnails. Yeah, nothing really much. It's basically like Procreate, but in a pocket size version in your phone. And then we've got CapCut. I don't use this as often. I just basically use it whenever I see a TikTok with a really cool video and it's related to CapCut. You can just use that. It does magic. It's so cool. And then I've got Epic. So this is just where I sometimes use this app. But anyways, with this app, I sometimes use it if I want to add like a sticker to my thumbnail and I don't have it. I sometimes use that. Otherwise as well, I use Pixar to add stickers and stuff to my thumbnails to make it look cool and stuff like that. Everyone knows what Pixar is anyways. Alrighty, so the next folder I've got is my main folder. So this is just filled with the main apps you get when you first get your new iPhone. So I've got FaceTime, Clock, Maps, Weather, Calendar, Fitness, Find My iPhone, Watch, Clearwave. So one time I was on my phone and I was eating cereal and my phone was like I was holding it and I wanted to do a funny be real where I was holding it like this and it accidentally dropped into milk but it wasn't facing like this way it was more like facing like down so I was worried that some liquid would have got into my speakers and damaged the crap out of it but then when I found Clearwave so this app Clearwave it just basically gets rid of liquid out of your speakers and so that nothing happens to it and this is like a really good app and I've just kept it in my phone to just in case and then I've got Maribel Gino I don't use this app anymore I only just use it for it to connect to my galaxy projector and my sunset lamp. And then I've got rest, which is I track my super through this, through work. And then I've got Virgin Australia. This is basically plan to go on holidays. I don't know. But this I've just used this to look up flights and stuff. But yeah, it's nothing too interesting about Virgin Australia. It's just an app. So next is my very addictive shopping folder. I love shopping and ever since now Christmas is coming up, I have been doing a lot of online shopping. I did place an order today filled with Christmas. I can't tell you who it's for because my family watches my videos so they get really suspicious. So I have wallets, iTunes, Bank of Melbourne and then I've got Australia Post, Sheen, Afterpay, White Fox, Mecca, PayPal and then I've got Sephora, Flybys, JD, Boost Juice. Oh my god, I cannot tell you how addictive I am to Boost Juice. It is my glory. So like every time or I'm craving something fresh, I go to Boost Juice. I order this specific drink. So I order a lemon crush, take away lemon, add mango. Best thing ever. I freaking love that combo. That's the only thing I order. It's either I order a medium or a large. And then I've got Shop, which is basically kind of like Australia Post, but you can like track orders and then pay through them. There's like some companies that are partnered with Shop. I don't know how it works. Sorry if I keep touching my nose. It's a little itchy. And I have Princess Polly, Nike, Amazon, Beginning Boutique, PTV, which is for to use the trams and stuff. And then I've got Ticket Tech, Car Sales, Velocity, and then Flight Center. They're not really those last ones shopping, but we've just been looking at flights lately and stuff like that. And then I've got Entertainment. So I've got YouTube, Disney Plus. I don't use YouTube as much. 
But Disney Plus, I use a little bit of it just to watch shows. And I'm going to tell you guys what I've been watching lately. So this is my Disney Plus. So this year we switched from Netflix to Disney Plus. And I kind of miss Netflix a little bit. So lately I have been watching the D'Amelio show. I'm on season 3 at the moment. I love this show particularly. It teaches me a lot about mental health and how they deal with stuff. And then also I've been watching Moulin Rouge lately. I have this downloaded, so I only just watch it when I'm bored. And then as well, I need to get through Bob's Burgers. That's been stuck to finish. And then I have like other shows that I just haven't finished or I don't watch anymore. So it just gets automatically deleted. And then I've got ABC iView, Spotify, and then Shazam. I don't use this one as much, but I mainly use it if I want to find a song that I just don't know what the title of the song is. And as well, Spotify I don't use much. And then I've got games. So I've got good triplet. I don't know if I said that right. Hole and file. That is one stubborn game. And then hole IO. That game I used to like, but I don't know. I don't play it anymore. And then I've got Papa's Don Donutaria. Don't play that anymore. I think I need to get rid of these games after this video. But anyways, and then I've got AB Friends. Basically Angry Birds. It's kind of fun. And then I've got Paper IO 2, Angry Birds 2. And this game, my brother got into it. I'm gonna show you guys what it is. It is basically QS Watermelon. So with this one, it's a really fun game. So you basically just drop fruits. At the bottom, it's got ones that you can match up with. So if you get like this example, another banana, it turns into orange. And you basically just keep adding on and on until you get watermelon. I have gotten watermelon once and I just wanted to see what happens when you get watermelon twice. Oh my god. I cannot believe how quick that was to film. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed what's on my iPhone for 2023. I will be filming an updated version maybe in a year's time. Like what do I have on my phone? If the layouts change, stuff like that. But yeah, I do recommend guys, if you are looking for a good phone, I definitely recommend the iPhone 14. The iPhone 15, I haven't heard much about it. There has been a few not so good things about it. Like apparently the battery runs down so much quicker, breaks really easily, it's really fragile and also heats up quite quickly. But I don't know if this update they've done has fixed it because I have heard nothing else about it. Uh, yeah, I feel like if you don't want to go for the 15 and you're not too sure about it, don't waste your money. You go grab a 14 because it comes in really nice colours too. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment down below the iPhone emoji if you stayed all the way to the end of this video and go comment down below what iPhone do you have currently. Or if you are thinking about getting a new iPhone, what iPhone do you want? And yeah, bye guys. Peace out.